Dear viewers, welcome to the YouTube channel H2O Chemistry. In our last video, we have seen the rules and regulations to be followed in writing the symbol of an element, which was initially suggested by the scientist John Jacob Besselius. In this video, we are going to learn the topic elements. Before that, look around you. We see many objects, many substances. Have you ever imagined what they have made up of? The answer is they made up of combination of elements. And one more question to you. Is it possible to live without oxygen? The answer is no. Oxygen is an element. Is it possible to live without water? The answer is no. The water is a combination of two elements, namely hydrogen and oxygen. So elements plays a very important life in, in our day-to-day -day life. So we're going to learn about it. What is an element? What is element made up of? Element is made up of similar kind of atoms. Look at a building, any building. The structure of the building actually come from the fundamental block we call brick. With that brick only the whole building has this structure. Similarly, with a similar kind of atoms, the element has its stru structure. So the fundamental unit of an element is atom. The element has a definite shape as well as it occupies volume. So far, the scientists have been di discovered 118 elements. Still, the discovery is going on. But so far, 118 elements known. Each element has its own symbol. For example, Hydrogen, we say H. Oxygen, O. Uranium, U. So each and every element has its own symbol. One more information about this element is, element can be divided into three types, metals, non-metals, and metalloids, based on their property. In fact, the index of the prosperity of a country depends upon the amount of metal and non-metal it produces and uses. So many developed countries, we say, the prosperity comes from the amount of the metal and non-metal they use. One more fact about this, the amount of gold in its reservoir is the wealth of the country. What does it mean? We can print currency based on the amount we have in our reservoir. Reserve, that's what we have to reserve. So the wealth of the country is decided by the metal, remember, nothing but an element, nothing but an element. So in this video we are going to talk about it. Let us see the first one, that is element. As I said, the element are made up of single kind of atoms. There are 118 elements known in our earth crust. Some of them are naturally occurring, some are artificial. For example, gold element is consists of gold atom. Just think about a gold bar, 24 karat gold. All the gold atoms forms that gold element. Similarly, the copper wire that is that we use for electrical circuit, we can call copper element because that made up of only copper atoms. Based on the property like physical state, nature, conductivity, and, there's, and their appearance, so that all these, okay, we have calculated. We have calculated the elements. We have classified the elements into metals, non-metals, and metalloids. Okay, what is metal? So for about 92 metals we have in our periodic table, 
for example iron copper silver gold chromium all are example for metals for non metal nitrogen hydrogen carbon phosphorus chlorine fluorine all we say it's a non metal what are metalloids otherwise called semi metals for about six elements we have in our periodic table example boron silicon germanium tellurium arsenic all are example of uh, metalloids so let us see some other information about metals and non metals look at this whole periodic table we see all the elements from hydrogen to oxygen so 1 to 118 elements we have if you look at it just look at this word alkali metals alkaline earth metals transition metals and other metals so the orange green pink or or metals and even the blue or metals look at this so this area this area and this area all are metals look at this uh, green color a light green it's a metalloid metalloid there are six metalloids boron silicon germanium arsenic antimony and tellurium similarly non metals are in yellow in color and noble gases in the final group now all these yellow color indicates the non metal so what do you understand most of the elements are metals right about 92 elements are metals remember and some of them are non metals some are metalloids so we are going to see the further informations about metals metals for example copper lead tin nickel steel zinc see the metals are generally used in our day to day life for example we can we have used in the machines and uh, road rollers in many purpose we use non metals these are some of the non metals we we come across carbon sulfur iodine bromine see bromine is one of the non metal available in liquid form iodine is easily vaporizable it's a violet in color sulfur yellow in color it is a very familiar element carbon which make up the whole living organism the carbon is a main substance in fact it's a very interesting element it gives us life similarly one of the metal is in liquid state none other than that that is mercury we use in a thermometer because it expands uniformly in the thermometer when heated now the next one we are going to see the metalloids some of the examples are boron silicon germanium arsenic antimony tellurium the silicon and germanium are mainly used in the circuits we call semiconductors so let us see the other topics in our next video i hope you have understood the topic well subscribe for more videos the chemistry concepts made easy here Thank you my dear children